today i am going to solve problems on economic aspects of power generation what are the problems the maximum demand on a power station is 100 megawatt if the annual load factor is 40% calculate the total energy generated in a year now no doubt available data or a given data the maximum demand on a power station is 100 megawatt they are given the maximum demand on the particular power plant maximum demand equal to 100 megawatt but always the demand is represented in terms of kilowatt we can convert in terms of kilowatt that is 100 into 10 to the power of 3 kilowatt if the annual load factor is 40 percent they are given the annual load factor is 40 percent 40 by 100 0 0.4 we need to find out that is calculate the total energy generated in a year that is total energy generated in a year. Already we know that energy generated per annum or energy generated per year is, is a product of maximum demand, load factor and hours in a year. All the parameter is that the maximum demand is 100 into 10 to the power of 3, load factor is 0 0.4, hours in a year that is 8760, that is in a year 365 days per day 24 hours. Substitute the value, maximum demand 100 into 10 to the power of 3 and the load factor is 0 0.4 hours in a year 365 days per day 24 hours if you are simplifying you get the value 3504 into 10 to the power of 5 kilowatt hour based upon the available data how much energy is generated per annum that is 3504 into 10 to the power of 5 kilowatt hour go to the next problem a generating station has a connected load of 43 megawatt and maximum demand of 20 megawatt that is the consumer they are taken the permission is 43 megawatt at that particular time they are utilizing the demand is only 20 megawatt the units generated being 61.5 into 10 to the power of 6 per annum calculate that is determine the demand factor and load factor note down the given data or available data a generating station has a connected load they are given the connected load is 43 megawatt and the maximum demand is 20 megawatt the units generated being 61.5 into 10 to the power of 6 annum that is they are given units generated per annum 61.5 into 10 to the power of 6 we need to find out the two parameter one is for demand factor another one is for load factor already we know that the demand factor is defined as the ratio of maximum demand to the connected load here in the given data the maximum demand is 20 megawatt connected load is 43 megawatt substitute the value that is 20 by 43 we get 0 0.465 the second one the load factor it is defined as the ratio of average load to the maximum demand in the available data the maximum demand is 20 megawatt but the average load is they are not mentioned we need to find out that is the average load equal to units generated per annum by hours in a year here clearly they are mentioned units generated per annum 61.5 into 10 to the power of 6 and hours in a year is 8760 that is 365 days in a year per day 24 hours substitute the value units generated per annum that is 61.5 into 10 to the power of 6 hours in a year that is 365 days into per day 24 hours that is 8760 simplified that is 7020 kilowatt now we know the value of average load and they are given the maximum demand now we can find out the load factor that is the load factor equal to average load by maximum demand that is average load is 7020 the maximum demand is 20 megawatt but here the average load in terms of kilowatt but the maximum demand in terms of megawatt again we need to convert in terms of kilowatt that is 20 into 10 to the power of 3 kilowatt i can see here the average demand is 7020 and the maximum demand is 20 megawatt the numerator is in terms of kilowatt the denominator also we need to substitute in terms of kilowatt that is 20 into 10 to the power of 3 kilowatt if simplified we get 0 0.351 we can write down in terms of percentage that is 35.1 here the demand factor is 0 0.465 and the load factor is 35.1 percent go to the next problem a diesel station that is any station but here they clearly mention diesel station you can go either thermal plant or nuclear hydro supplies the following loads to a various consumer a diesel station supplies the following loads to a various consumers 
industrial consumer 1500 kilowatt commercial establishment 750 kilowatt domestic power 100 kilowatt domestic lighting 450 kilowatt if the maximum demand on the station is 2500 kilowatt and the number of kwh generated per year is 45 into 10 to the power of 5 determine two parameter one is the factor and another one is for the annual load factor now down the given data here one particular power station they are given the industrial consumer 1500 kilowatt and commercial establishment 750 kilowatt domestic power 100 kilowatt domestic light 450 kilowatt here they are given for four different types of consumer one is for industrial consumer commercial consumer these both are domestic but one is used only for domestic power another one used only for the lighting purpose the four different types of consumers they are given and maximum demand on the station is 2500 kilowatt and the particular power plant the demand is 2500 kilowatt and the number of kwh generated that is number of units generated per annum 45 into 10 to the power of 5 here calculate two parameter one is for diversity factor another one is for annual load factor already we know the formula diversity factor that is sum of individual maximum demand by maximum demand on the power station sum of individual maximum demand means here four different types of consumers are there industrial commercial domestic power domestic light you need to add all the four individual demand by maximum demand on the power station on the particular power plant the maximum demand is 2500 kilowatt now i can substitute that is four different individual consumer the maximum demand is 1500 plus 750 plus 100 plus 450 by maximum demand on the particular power plant is 2500 if simplified it is 1.12 already we have studied the diversity factor always greater than the one we got 1.12 the second one we need to find out annual load factor that is the load factor is defined as the ratio of average load to the maximum demand here we know the value of maximum demand and we want to find out for average load and the first we want to find out the average load that is average load is the number of units generated per annum with respect to hours in a year here the number of units generated per annum 45 into 10 to the power of 5 hours in a year is 8760 that is 45 into 10 to the power of 5 by hours in a year 365 days in a year per day 24 hours that is 8000 if simplified 513.7 kilowatt now we know the value of average load and we know the value of maximum demand you can find out load factor that is the average load is 513.7 and the maximum demand is 2500 substitute here 513.7 by 2500 the final we got the answer is 0 0.205 and write down in terms of percentage 20.5 percent here the diversity factor is 1.12 and the load factor is 20.5%. Go to the next problem. A power station has a maximum demand of 15,000 kilowatt. The annual load factor is 50% and plant capacity factor is 40%. Determine the reserve capacity of the plant. Here the available data is in the particular power plant, the maximum demand is 15,000 kilowatt and they are given annual load factor is 50%. That is 50 by 100, 0.5 and plant capacity factor 40% that is 40 by 100 0.4 here we need to find out the reserve capacity of the plants already we know the reserve capacity is the difference of plant capacity and maximum demand that is the plant capacity minus maximum demand here the maximum demand they are given for 15,000 but the plant capacity we need to find out here the plant capacity data is not there that is plant capacity is defined as the ratio of number of units per annum to the product of plant capacity into hours in a year that is plant capacity now the first we want to find out units generated per annum that is units generated per annum the another name is energy generated per annum the formula is maximum demand into load factor into hours in a year substitute the parameter the maximum demand is 15,000, the load factor is 0 0.4 and hours in a year is 8,760. That is the maximum demand is 15,000, the load factor is 0 0.5 and hours in a year, in a year 365 days per day, 24 hours. By simplifying, it is 65.7 into 10 to the power of 6, 
kilowatt hour. Now we can substitute this parameter in plant capacity. That is plant capacity equal to units generated per annum or energy generated per annum. That is 65.7 into 10 to the power of 6. The plant capacity factor is 0 0.4 and our CNA year 8750. If you simplify 18,750 kilowatt. That is the plant capacity is 18,750. In this particular power plant, the actual capacity, that is the generation capacity is 18,750 kilowatt, but the demand on the particular power plant only 15 kilowatt. The remaining the storage is, that is nothing but the reserve capacity, that is used for future purpose or we can use whenever the load is increased. That is the reserve capacity equal to plant capacity minus maximum demand and the particular power plant, the power generation capacity is 18,750, that is nothing but plant capacity. The demand uh, on the particular plant, the demand is only 15,000 kilowatt. Now you can substitute 18,750 minus 15,000. We are getting 3,750 kilowatt. This much of power we can generate it in addition in the particular power plant. That is nothing but the reserve capacity. That is based upon the data in the particular power plant, the reserve capacity or the storage capacity is 3,750 kilowatt. Go to the next problem. A generating station has the following daily load curve. Here they are given one day the load that is time they are represented in terms of hour. The load here they are given for megawatt. They are given in a day early morning that is zero to starting from am to up to 6 am 40 megawatt and 6 to 10 am 50 megawatt and 10 to 12 pm 60 megawatt and 12 to 16 that is 4 pm 50 megawatt and 16 to 20 70 megawatt and 20 to 24 40 megawatt. Draw the load curve and find four parameter. One is maximum demand, units generated per day, average load, load factor. In this problem, the available data is they are given different hours. The how much load is it? First six hour 40 megawatt. The next four hour 50 megawatt. The next two hour 60 megawatt. The next 4 hour 50 megawatt, the next 4 hour 70 megawatt, and the last 4 hour 40 megawatt. Already in the last section we have seen any consumer the load is not maintained for constant based upon the variation the load is varied. Here they are given the different hours how much the load they are utilized in a day. And we need to draw the load curve and we want to determine the four parameters one is maximum demand units generated per day, how many number of units generated in the particular power plant per day, average load, load factor. Here we want to draw the load curve. Take x-axis time in hours and y-axis the load in kilowatt or megawatt. But clearly they are mentioned the problem, the load they are given for the megawatt. Based upon the data, we need to plot the load curve. That is the first 0 to 6, the load is 40 megawatt. And 6 to 10, again the load is increased 10 megawatt, that is 6 to 10, 50 megawatt. And 10 to 12, the load is 60 megawatt. And 12 to 16, the load is again decreased 10 megawatt, that is 50 megawatt. And 16 to 20, the 70 megawatt, 70 megawatt. The last 20 to 24, 40 megawatt. Based upon the given data, we are plotted load curve. In this load curve clearly indicates the minimum load another one is for the maximum load the, mi the minimum load is 40 megawatt and the maximum load is 70 megawatt this is the base load is 40 megawatt and the peak load is 70 megawatt here calculate the four parameter maximum demand units generated per day average load another one is for load factor the first one you can calculate the maximum demand clearly in the load curve indicators the maximum demand is 70 megawatt during the period 16 to 20 that is 4 pm to 8 pm that is the maximum demand equal to 70 megawatt. The second one you want to find out units generated per day that is area in kilowatt hour under the load curve. Generally the load curve we are taken for the area we are taken in terms of KWH but the data is available in terms of megawatt we can take common for 10 to the power of area in the curve in the sense the first 6 hour 40 megawatt, the next 4 hour 50 megawatt, the next 2 hour 60 megawatt and the next 4 hour 50 megawatt 
and next 4 hour 70 megawatt the last 4 hour is 40 megawatt now you can take the common for 10 to the power of 3 here we are substituting in terms of kilowatt hour that is the megawatt we are converted into kilo that is 10 to the power of 3 into kilowatt now you can see that is the 40 load 40 kilowatt we are using for the first 6 hour the remaining 4 hour we are using for 50 kilowatt and the remaining 2 hour we are using for 60 the next 4 hour we are using for 50 and the next 4 hour we are used for 70 the last 4 hour is 40 that is the area covered in the load curve we have taken in the common for 10 to the power of 3 now we are represent for kilowatt now we are simplified that is the units generated per day per day how much in the particular power plant the number of units generated is 12 into 10 to the power of 5 kilowatt hour next we want to find out average load that is here we are find out only per day that is number of units generated per day by number of hours in a day in a day 24 hours units generated is 12 into 10 to the power of 5 now you can substitute that is 12 into 10 to the power of 5 by 24 you get 50,000 kilowatt that is daily average load the final we want to find out the load factor that is average load by maximum demand average load is 50,000 kilowatt and the maximum demand is 70 megawatt but here is kilowatt we can convert in terms of kilowatt that is 70 into 10 to the power of 3 that is 50,000 by 70 into 10 to the power of 3 you get 0 0.714 you can represent in terms of percentage 71.4 percent that is the maximum demand is 70 megawatt units generated per day 12 into 10 to the power of 5 average load is 50,000 kilowatt and the load factor is 71.4 percent that's all thank you